This video will look at getting notifications to show up in this bell icon at the top right of the screen in ServiceNow. So this bell, I think, appeared either in Tokyo or it might have been there in San Diego. I can't uh, remember. And this shows a new kind of a notification called uh, provider notifications. And I think provider notifications have been around since Quebec. So the way we can use this is, let's say I want to receive a notification. Uh, in fact, well, just back up. You use this basically the same way as you use email notifications. Uh, it's just that they appear up here instead of uh, into your email box, which uh, is another feature I like the direction ServiceNow is going to reduce the amount of emails that you get and you know move all the notifications inside the platform so you never have to leave the platform that's really the best uh, the best uh, way to do things so if i want to uh, set up a notification let's say i want to anytime an incident that i'm assigned to uh, changes its impact i want to a notification to appear here again that's a stupid example that you would never do in the real world but uh, for the purposes of this uh, of this demonstration, it will suffice. So I can go to uh, the navigator to the all menu and I type a notification and we see in our usual uh, email notifications for the most common are push notifications. And then we have this provider notifications. So this is where we're going to be doing our work here. So if I go into provider notifications, uh, there are a few of them out of the box. We'll create a new one. Oh, there we go. Oops, clicked too quick. Okay, we'll call this uh, impact, or call this incident, impact, notification. So this is very similar to what we see in email notifications. Uh, so record change and we'll select our table. So then we'll give it, let's say active is true and the impact changes and who will receive we'll send it to the assigned to and again this include the person whose action triggered the notification I think in the email I, I know in the email it's called something else and it's a lot more technical in nature and they <laughs> they made the label a little more uh, human friendly in here I think it's like send notification to uh, event creator something like that so that's good to see. That's a little more understandable. And once I save the record, uh, then I get some additional tables here. So uh, related lists here. So the content uh, is the important one. We do new provider content, and uh, this gives us this um, inter interceptor. Uh, so we're going to be using workspace. There are these other uh, notification content uh, if you have other providers in there uh, because you can also use these to send notifications over Slack and uh, Teams and other uh, third parties. Uh, but in this case, we're just using the agent workspace. So we can call this thing the same thing, incident impact notification. Submit that. Okay, now we're all set up here. Uh, what is also interesting and useful is the logs here. So oftentimes you want to test this out, and which I'll, I'll be doing in a second, and it does sometimes take some time to appear up here. It doesn't appear right away, and uh, if you're impatient like me, you want to know, well, did that thing work or not? So you can come back here and look at the logs, and it will show you uh, whether it triggered the notification. Even if you don't see it up here yet, you'll see it down here. So let's flip back to workspace then. And let's take an incident. 
uh, let's see, we'll take something that's open. How about this one? Email server's down. And I'll assign it to myself. Okay, then I'll go ahead and change the impact to low, say. Oh, right. Some very descriptive work notes. Okay, so now our notification should have been triggered. Um, and like I said, it does take some time sometimes. So let's flip back to the notification record. And we can see here in the logs that it did indeed trigger. I did pause the video and restart it again. And this did eventually show up. Uh, this is the notification. So the text inside of this notification is actually not currently configurable in Tokyo, uh, but it is configurable in Utah. So I, I haven't played with it yet, but uh, I think this will be a lot more useful because we'll be able to configure the content here. If I am in a classic, when I click on this, it's going to bring me to the record in classic. But if I'm in a workspace, it will bring me to the record in workspace. So this is a, a quick summary of provider notifications uh, in ServiceNow Tokyo.